Well, here we are, way up in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State, up near Mount Baker. I've just finished up a delicious meal cooked over a campfire out here in these frigid temperatures of the Pacific Northwest. It is currently minus one degrees Fahrenheit, which is about minus 18 degrees Celsius. I've got the old Volkswagen Vanagon out here for a true test of its cold weather abilities. I spent the last two years in my Sprinter van, which is well equipped for these kind of temperatures. But the old Vanagon, it leaves a little bit to be desired when it comes to its cold weather capabilities. But nonetheless, I've got the diesel heater cranking away inside, keeping the interior nice and cozy warm for bed here later on this evening. But in the meantime, I'm just here enjoying this nice, comfortable, cozy campfire out here on this crisp, cold, frigid night.
Well, I managed to make it through the night, which is good news. It was all the way down to a minus one degrees Fahrenheit last night. But thanks to the wonderful diesel heater inside the Volkswagen, it kept the inside at a nice cozy 65 degrees. Matter of fact, I woke up in the middle of the night and pulled a layer of blankets off so that thing is working quite well. I talk about the diesel heater a lot in my wintertime videos because it's been a big part of being able to come out here and enjoy myself out here in the backcountry during the wintertime. If you guys would like to know more about this diesel heater, check out one of the more recent videos that I've got that is all dedicated to the diesel heaters. If you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll post a link up here in the top corner of the video. But also, I do get a lot of questions about the gear that I use here in my videos on my wintertime adventures, etc. I do my best to put a link in the description down below if there's something in particular that I've used and featured. So make sure and check out the description below the video for that kind of information. Also, I have created my own Living the Van Life Amazon storefront with all of the gear that is available on Amazon. So you guys can go on to my website at livingthevanlife.com and there is a link to the Amazon storefront and all the gear that I use there that's available on Amazon. If you guys do actually purchase anything off of that list, a portion of that goes back to me and it helps support the channel, so I appreciate that. Also, don't forget to go on over to livingthevanlife.com for any Living the Van Life merch, whether it's hoodies, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff that we've got on there, so you guys definitely go check out the website. From here, I'm going to go ahead and pack up camp and get things back on the road. If you're new to the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button. More importantly, leave your feedback in the comment section down below and don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking.